Tonight, new concerns over something a lot of us thought was behind us. The possibility that freight rail workers could go on strike. This time, it could mess with holiday shopping and travel. Our Adam Longo is in the newsroom tonight to get us up to speed on this. Hey, Adam. So, so we, we need to get this on your radar right now so you have time to prepare because time to strike a deal is running out. And without a deal, brace yourself for higher gas and grocery prices right as we head into the holiday season. So here are three things that you need to know about this. First, about 12 hours ago, the largest railroad labor union in the country voted down a new contract deal with management. Second, December 5th is the deadline to hammer out a new deal or workers could strike. That's two weeks from today. And third, the most pressing concern for you and the economy, if we even get close to that strike deadline, we could start feeling the effects. That's because railroads will freeze shipments of dangerous chemicals and perishable goods ahead of time. And commuters could be stranded if there's a strike because so many passenger railroads operate on the same tracks owned by the freight railroads. Now, it is increasingly possible that Congress will have to step in and settle the dispute. Lawmakers have the power to impose contract terms. Now, the White House press secretary told reporters a few hours ago that President Biden believes, quote, the best option is still for the parties to resolve this themselves. Now, the latest offer for union workers included 24% raises and $5,000 in bonuses, but did not include paid sick leave. That's one of the main sticking points. Experts estimate a strike could cost the U.S. economy $2 billion a day. Back to you. All right, December 5th. Hopefully they can get it resolved by then. Adam, thank you. Bless.